Squiz Kids acknowledges the traditional owners of the lands on which we podcast, the Turrbal and Combermary people. Good morning and welcome to the Squiz Kids Olympic Sprint, your quick as a flash update on the Olympic highlights that happened in Paris overnight while you were sleeping. It's Friday, August 2. I'm Bryce Corbett. You ready to race through it? On your marks, get set, go! Australia claimed its fifth gold medal in the swimming pool this morning as our Golden Girls pulled off another blinder in the women's 4x200 metre freestyle event. Going into the event as hot favourites, the awesome foursome of Molly O'Callaghan, Lani Pallister, Brianna Throssell and Ariane Titmus brought it home in style for the green and gold, edging out the United States and China. How good! American gymnast Simone Biles continued her remarkable comeback this morning, winning her second gold medal of the Paris Olympics overnight. The all-conquering athlete barely set a foot wrong in the women's all-round artistic event, an event that requires each competitor to perform on the vault, uneven bars, balance beam and floor. She was already the most decorated gymnast ever at the Olympics, with last night's gold only adding to her shine. She's gonna need a new trophy shelf. It was totally tubular in Tahiti overnight as the Olympic surfers tackled the waves as competition there resumed following a couple of days of rubbish weather. And Aussie surfer Tyler Wright from Kalbara Beach on the New South Wales south coast is sitting pretty, having comfortably cruised through to the women's quarterfinals. And through to the finals also will be Aussie BMX's Saya Sakakibara and Lauren Reynolds, who sprinted, bunny hopped and double jumped their way into the semis this morning. It was three wins from three races for Saya. Dare we say things are looking good for gold tomorrow? Come on, Aussie. And Olympic walkers had their time in the sun last night with Aussie competitive walker Jemima Montag strolling her way to a bronze medal on the streets of Paris while you were sleeping. With her proud dad watching on and in sweltering 30 degree temperatures, Jemima out walked the field, crossing the line in the shadow of the Eiffel Tower. And as impressive as her racing was, it was her actions after the race that won the world's attention supporting the silver medal winner from Spain who could barely stand and needed help to get from the course. All class. And so to the medal tally. As we go to air this morning, China is still on top of the leaderboard with 11 gold medals, followed by the USA with nine, followed very closely behind by France, and Australia now in a very respectable fourth position with eight gold medals. And that's the Olympic sprint for today. Now it's time for today's Squiz Kids Weekly News Quiz. Squiz Kids! It's your daily news fix. Fun, free, fresh. Hello, fabulous Squiz Kids listeners, and welcome to the Kids vs. Adults Weekly News Quiz. Your chance to see who's had their listening ears on and been paying the most attention to the week that just was. I'm Bryce Corbett. All week in the Squiz Kids Today podcast, we've been bringing you the big news stories of the day, run through our kid-friendly filter to make sure you know all you need to know about the world around you. Now it's time to test how much of the week's news you've retained. And in the process, see who's smarter, kids or adults. Plus, of course, because it's a Friday, we've got all today's birthday shout-outs and all the shout-outs for the weekend ahead. Including, of course, the birthday reggae tune. Because it wouldn't be a Friday without it. So, here's how the quiz works. Five questions for the kids about the week in news, then five questions for adults. Whoever answers the most correct questions wins. Easy. You ready? Let's do this. All right, kids, here are your five questions. Question number one. It's been all sport all week this week with the Olympics, so let's kick things off with a Paris Olympics question. What is the name of the Australian athlete who was our flag bearer in Paris and won gold in her kayak and canoe events? 
Yes, of course, it's the fantastic Ms. Fox, Jess Fox. Question number two. We heard in the podcast this week how a herd of farm animals that are usually content to stand around chewing their cuds are terrorising a town in Tasmania. What sort of animals am I talking about? Yes, of course, I'm talking about cows. Moo. Question number three. Astronauts on the International Space Station staged their own version of the Olympics this week, high above our heads beyond the stratosphere. Starting with G, what is there none of in space that makes it possible to float in midair? Did you say gravity? Then you'd be right. Question number four. There's been lots of talk at the Olympics about the triathlon athletes swimming in the Stinky Sen River. The event is called Triathlon because A, the athletes have to try really hard, B, because it involves three sporting activities, or C, because it's a really trying event that wears athletes out. Yeah, of course, it's B, because it involves three sporting activities. Question number five. Aussie swimmer Kaylee McEwen won gold in the pool for Australia this week. What stroke does she swim? Well done if you said backstroke. How did you go, kids? How many did you get right out of five? And do you think that's going to be enough to beat the adults? I'm hoping so. All right, adults, now it's your turn. Let's fire up the old grey matter. Here we go. Question number one. While most events at the Paris Olympics have taken place in the City of Light, where were the surfing events held? Yeah, of course, they were held in beautiful Tahiti. Question number two. In which cities will the 2028 and the 2032 Summer Olympics be held? The answer is Los Angeles and Brisbane. Question number three. Which Australian domestic airline went into administration this week? Yep, that's right, it was Rex Airlines. Question number four. Australians were warned not to travel to which Middle Eastern country this week after an escalation of tensions in the Golan Heights? It was, of course, Lebanon. Final question. Malandiri McCarthy was sworn in this week as the new Minister for Indigenous Australians. Who did she replace? Well done if you said Linda Burney. How did you go, adults? How many did you get right? Did you beat the kids? Who has won bragging rights this week? Now, if you've missed any of these cool news stories throughout the week and you want to refresh your memory, all of this week's Squiz Kids episodes are available for a re-listen wherever you get your podcasts. That's the end of the quiz, which means it's now time for... Shout outs. It's Friday, August 2. Today is Jeans for Jeans Day. Are you wearing your denim today to help raise funds for those living with a genetic condition? Today is also a special day for these Squiz Kids celebrating a birthday today and over the coming weekend. And because it's a Friday, let's crack out the old birthday reggae tune. Hit it! <laughs> And it's a happy birthday to Kai from Wallaroo, Kea from Castle Hill, Coco and Rhea from Musgrave, Caden from Forest Lake, Asher from Doncaster, Serenity from Thaguna, Ivy from Burley Waters, Jackson from Madawi, Madeline from Cannon Hill, Amelia from Baldivis, Leo from Sydney, Avery from Brisbane, Jack from Pacific Pines, Avni from Vermont South, Elora from Woongarra, Lance from Chatswood, Tejus from Point Cook, Jonah from West Albury, and Penny, who's listening all the way over there in Thailand. And a belated birthday shout out goes to Toby from Brisbane. Well, that's all we have time for. I hope you're enjoying these quizzes. Don't forget, there'll be a new one dropping first thing every Friday morning. And the best bit, they're absolutely free. <laughs>
just as our other excellent content is free too. We're talking to Squiz Kids today, news podcast on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays, a Squiz Kids shortcut or a Squiz the World every Tuesday. And for all the teachers out there, there's the Classroom Companion, our teacher-produced classroom activity sheets, curriculum aligned and tied to the Daily Pod on Mondays, and whose entire back catalogue is now searchable via our website. Genius. Check it all out at squizkids.com.au or simply subscribe to Squiz Kids in your favourite podcasting app and all this audio content will magically appear. For now, this is Bryce Corbett signing off and reminding you all to get out there and have the most excellent day. Over and out.